In this map, there is a broken trick that allows you to win the entire game while staying in one place. To perform this trick, you need to come to this spot on the ship. Then you have to wait for a few seconds. When Abandoned Ship appears on the screen, you need to single jump to this spot and use any taunt emote in the air. By doing this, you will be stuck in one place, and you won't have to do anything. You will win the whole game just like this. Let me show you this trick again so that you have no doubt. The process of the trick will remain the same throughout the game as I explained to you. Do you still think this is the best water park map trick? Well, let me tell you another awesome trick. As soon as you are about to touch this booster, you need to jump using the volleyball emote. Both of these steps need to be done quickly, so that your character will automatically move here in this way. You can come up to it 100 times faster than the normal way. Let me show you once again. If you've played the only up map, you'll know that going forward from this point is very difficult. I've fallen here several times, and because there is no checkpoint here, you spawn back at the starting point. Let me tell you a trick that will make it easy for you to pass through this every time. To perform this trick, you need to move back and forth here about four to five times, something like this. This will increase your character's speed and you can cross it in a single jump. Jump here, then jump here. Then use the volleyball emote and jump again. This way, you can cover a good distance. You can cross it by using the volleyball emote. It may not be that useful, but yes, you can do it if you want. In the block dash map, Perform a dive plus taunt emote simultaneously between two blocks like this and you'll be able to easily get past the block. Coming to this spot, dive, and you will be outside the map. Now, you just have to stay here. While other players are running around to avoid zombies, you'll be outside the map avoiding them. Since if someone is the last survivor, they win, there's a good chance you can win here. However, if a zombie tries to enter this way, you can push them back like this. If you don't, the zombie will turn you into one. First, come to this stage. And then from this stage, come to this speaker. Now, if all the zombies are bots, they won't be able to reach you and you can easily qualify from here. On this spot in the Bucket Mayhem map, there are many vehicles. If you climb on top of a vehicle like this, zombies won't be able to reach you if they are bots. Let me tell you another broken trick. On this spot in the Don't Be Jelly map, you need to jump on it like this. If you execute it well, it will take you straight to the finish line with a 100x speed boost. Just imagine, 
while others are coming the normal way, you can qualify and grab the crown in less than half the time. In Crab Island map, we tried to touch with crab to jump 10x high in the air. We will land here on the mentioned place to save the player from elimination by drowning in the water. You can see, we will use this trick again by touching crab and it will give boost and we will take high jump in this way our player will land safely again. We will use this trick once more by touching crab and it will give boost and we will take high jump in this way our player will land safely again. In block dash map, we use this trick of using taunt emote to cross these blocks, but here we have another simple and smart trick to cross the blocks. As you can see, we will move our player to the left corner and simply jump, and in this way we will cross the blocks easily. And now we will move our player to the right corner, and by jumping we tried the same trick and cross these blocks easily. In Burrito Bonanza map you cannot pass from here easily. To pass, we will use a trick, we will jump from left corner to the cans and then gradually smaller jumps to pass these cans. As you can see, gradually by smaller jumps we can pass these cans easily. And in this way, from left side, we reach the destination easily. Now from corner of the right side, we will jump to the cans to pass the map. And we will move forward from this side by jumping gradually. And in this way, we will pass the map and our player will qualify for the next level. Here in this map, if you want to pass the player from this way, he make a live with hammer and fell down. As you can see we will jump from right corner just after the hammer passed. And in this way, our player can move forward easily to the destination. In Monopoly Rush map, Kane is blinking and changing its color into red. We should move forward, as this is the best time to move forward because of changing of cane into any other object. By using this way, we can reach the destination faster than the other ways. As you can see, we crossed everything simply and move forward to the destination. In this way, our player will qualify for next level. In legendary block dash map, some people thought that it is very difficult to pass from here. Here is the trick to pass these blocks easily. We will use taunt emote exactly in front of the empty block and it will take jump automatically and pass from the empty place. We will recommend this trick only if you don't have any other trick. We will jump on this corner and move forward carefully because there is no stability. There are chances to collide with the roll passing besides it will throw our player on the canes. But still our player survives and move forward gradually and in this way we will qualify for next level. Here in water park map, you can move forward by taking speed boosters. From this corner, you can jump and by using taunt emote, can skip this part and save the time of player. Now, we landed our player safely on the upper slide. And now by sliding and save our player from obstacles, we will move forward. In this way, our player qualified for the next level. There are two ways to move forward, one is normal way, and the other will use trick to pass the way. Through this jumper, we will jump into the air, and by turning right side, we can move forward. In this way, we can save our time from the normal way. Here we have another fruitful trick for you. We will take booster from this corner and jump. By using this trick, we can skip this part and save our time. We will take another jump from the air to reach the slide and move forward easily by saving time. We will move forward to the pillar and jump. We will use taunt emote after jumping in the air to stop the player onto the pillar of paint tanks. We can stop player onto the pillar for a few seconds. In this legendary block dash map, you can move forward rapidly by the effect of blast. As you can see, we will stop our player on the sticky bomb for 0.5 seconds and then jump. The effect of the blast also supports our player to move forward quickly. If our opponent is following us, the effect of blast will throw him backward and he will be eliminated and we will qualify. In Cannonball Chaos map, this level has many obstacles which makes it difficult to pass through it. But we can avoid these by moving near the corner like this and jumping onto this corner to move forward easily. So you can see we have easily passed through these obstacles without any difficulty. We can move from right side, but I will suggest you to go through the left side as you have to face some difficulties in right side. 
First we will move backward and jump onto this corner wall to move forward without touching the obstacles. You can see we performed this trick from right side, but it is easy to go through left side and pass without any difficulty. Here in block dash map we can pass the blocks by using trick. In this trick, we will try to stick our player with this block. As you can see, after sticking and colliding with the upper block, we will jump and be able to cross these blocks easily. Normally, you can see players pass from here. But, we will use a trick to pass from here by placing our player between the white line and trampoline. Trampoline will throw our player on the right side and in this way, we will pass from here easily. Now from left side, trampoline will throw us similarly and then we will move forward by saving our time. In legendary block dash map, if you see these type of blocks. To pass this level and entrance, you have to break first block, then stand here by breaking upper block. Now by jumping, we can cross all these blocks to pass this level. In honey drop map, if our player fall on the lower tiles, then we can destroy the tiles on which the shadow of enemy appears. Then the enemy will be eliminated when he will fall down. Here you can see, we are destroying the tiles following the shadow of the enemy, one by one, so he will fall down and get eliminated. We will destroy as much tiles as possible, following the shadow of enemy, to got him eliminated. Here you can see the shadow of enemy's player, he fell down and got eliminated. In water park map, we can move forward through slide and can stop on the wheel by using the taunt emote. We can use this trick for fun or to show your friends. There is no such other benefit of this trick other than use as a fun. Here in this map, we have to save our player from traffic and different obstacles by using dodge. Now we will stick our player with the wall to avoid from colliding with traffic. As you can see, our player is safe here from the traffic. After a few vehicles, you can face a large vehicle. At that time, you can simply jump to avoid colliding with large vehicle. And when you face these type of large vehicle, then you should dodge and jump to avoid colliding. And after passing these vehicles, you should again stick with the wall. In this map, we can move forward by avoiding laser. As you can see we can move forward from right side easily. And at lower place, we can change our sight also, without touching the laser. And from this jumper, we will jump and can move forward easily. In shark mode a triangle there is a broken trick, and by using this you can win by remaining at one place. As you can see the head of player and corner of the ship is in a line, here we will jump into the water. As you can see ship and head of player are in the line, as you know after jumping into the water we should drown, but still player is standing, because there is an invisible block in the water and we are exactly standing on it. Now you can see the ship is gone let's see what happened. Oh. The ship is abandoned. Now people will move towards barrel. And survivor will be the winner. As you can see we are still standing and in this way we will qualify. First we will take the normal way to climb the building. From the timer, we can notice that how long it will take to reach the building. If we use the normal way. Here we are going to the building through obstacles and trampolines which is taking much time. You can notice from the timer that if we go through the normal way it will take almost 16 seconds to reach the building. Now we will use the shortcut trick to reach the building in less time than going through the normal way. First we will hit this trampoline and it will push us back, and then we will slide to jump on it. Here it took us to considerable height, and now we will slide to reach the building. You can now notice from the timer that it only took 9 seconds to reach the building. This is the path with obstacles and hurdles, but we will use a trick to bypass the hurdles. Here the trick is to jump onto the wall to bypass the hurdles. Now we will walk onto the wall to bypass the obstacles until we reach the desired destination. We will jump onto the next wall to continue walking towards the destination.
Here we will move around and jump onto the nearby building. You can see we have reached the desired destination by passing the obstacles by walking on the wall. Here the trick is to bypass the blocks by walking on the pink border in the corner and using the hug emote when we reach near the block. As you can see the player bypassed the blocks when we use the hug emote while walking on the pink side border near the blocks. So you can see we tried the trick several times and the player bypassed the blocks when we used the hug emote while walking on the pink side border near the blocks. In this trick we will use a shortcut to climb on this base. First we will go near this edge and jump onto it. Here we jumped near the edge and climbed onto the edge. So this is a shortcut and easy way to climb on this base. Here as we are standing near the bomb and it is just about to explode, we will use the taunt emote and player will be saved from explosion. Here as we are standing near the bomb and it is just about to explode, we will use the taunt emote and player will be saved from explosion. Now we will try this trick several times to see if the player can be saved by using taunt emote. So we can see the player is saved when we use taunt emote just near the explosion. In Burrito Bonanza map there are some common methods to bypass through the roller. We can pass through the roller by places like these. But here we will try a much easier way to pass. First we will go near the corner and jump around to slide past the roller. So you can see we have bypassed the roll easily by jumping around and diving. Now we will try the same trick on the right side, and you can see the player passed through the roller. So the player can pass through roller by jumping around. This trick is about passing the paint rollers without colliding or falling. First we will move through the side to reach near the paint rollers. And now we change the camera angle and position of the player towards the rollers. From here we will use the kick emote which gives the player a boost, and it will pass through the paint rollers. So we have easily passed through the paint roller. This trick is about avoiding sudden collision with the french fries. Here when we are just colliding with the french fries we will use taunt emote. You can see by using taunt emote the player is saved. We did some more tries, and you can see the player was saved each time we used the taunt emote. With this fun trick you can enjoy with your friend. First we will jump near the trampoline, and it will push us back then we will jump onto it. First we will dive up and on returning we will push joystick forward. We will jump and dive to reach near the chair, and use the taunt emote to stop exactly on the chair. So this trick is just for fun or enjoyment with the friend. This trick is about reaching the finish line in a shortcut way in Mr. Beast Warehouse. First we will move to this place and jump to the other side. Now we will jump onto the fan. Dodging these obstacles, we will quickly reach to the finish line. Here you can see we have reached the finishing line. Now we will try the same trick from right side. Now we will jump onto the fan. Dodging these obstacles, we will quickly reach to the finish line. Here you can see we have reached the finishing line. This is the common way to pass through, but we will use a trick to pass through. First we will go near this edge. And jump to reach this sideway. From here we can pass through by the sideway. So this is a shortcut way to move through the lava. This is a super trick to reach the finishing line. First we will move to the back of tunnel gateway. Then we will jump into the tunnel. Here mostly we don't know where is the finishing line it can be at this point or at that point, so we can see finishing line from here, and move our joystick accordingly. As the finishing line is there, so we will move joystick there. The player will pass from this tunnel and goes directly to the finishing line. 
This trick is about bypassing the burrito roll in Burrito Bonanza map. First we will go near the corner of burrito roll and move our joystick towards the corner. So you can see we have easily passed through the burrito roll and reached the finishing line. If big crowd is present at these two platforms they both can flip. We can jump from this corner to save the player. Now through this wall we are out of danger and reach safely. Here we will try from second side of same platform. Now from this corner we can jump to the safe side. As you can see we reached safely here. As you can see after we started jumping, and there we will take short turn to lower side and jump to the inner path. We will go through jumping through this way. Now we will jump upward and to join the new way. And we can move forward to the destination. As you can see here we started jumping, and moving hammers makes impression we may collide them. We will use dance emote to save the player and in this way the character of player stops and remains safe. We will take high jump through the fan to reach the stone. By jumping on stones we can reach this place. With the help of this you can directly reach this place without the need of passing from fans. In legendary block dash map if we face this type of level, we will dive first, and then we will use emote to save the player. And in this way we will qualify. In block dash map. First we will use jump and volleyball emote. And then after landing, we will use double jump emote to bypass the block. Again here we will jump and use volleyball emote. And then after landing, we will use double jump emote to bypass the block. Now we will double jump to cross the block. As you can see we remain successful while using this trick again and again. Now in legendary block dash map we also use the same trick as we used in block dash map and remain successful while crossing the blocks. In the bot bash map, I am unable to survive. Can you please tell me a trick through which I can win all the matches in Bot Bash without falling? Alright, I'll tell you about a trick. To perform it, first come to this spot, and then use any dance emote. That's it. That's your trick. You won't believe it. Watch this. This trick allows you to neither fall by paint, nor be fall by bots. In this trick, you have to keep using the dance emote. If you stop using the dance emote, the trick won't work. If I tell about this trick in more depth, then whenever you collide with paint or bot while doing this trick, they will push you back a little. So you need to keep jumping forward after a short delay. Climb onto any bomb in the bombardment map, then use the kick emote. This will allow you to throw the bomb in any direction. If I want to eliminate that guy, I will climb onto any bomb, then look towards him and use the kick emote. This will make the bomb go towards him, collide with him, and he will fall down. You just need to look in the direction where you want to send the bomb and kick. Sometimes you touch the laser by hitting the corner of the spiked block and you are eliminated. To avoid this, all you have to do is use the dance emote, and you will be saved. This trick is quite common, but not everyone can do it. Alright, let me explain the correct and easy way to do it. This trick can be done in various ways, 
but let's start with the easiest method. Whenever the blocks are approaching, you need to dive between the four blocks. You can go through even between two blocks. If you dive here, you can also go over it. You can do it from below like this. If you move forward quickly, you can do it without diving. This is also a common trick, but not everyone can do it. Let me tell you the correct and easy way to do it. To perform this, you need to go back with the block, and when you are about to touch this pink line, you have to jump, and when all these blocks move slightly down, you have to dive. There is a low chance of this happening, but sometimes your jump glitches and you fall before jumping. To avoid this, look back and then jump and dive. This way, your jump glitch won't occur. Whenever you collide with it and are about to fall, use the dance emote, you will be saved. When the roller is coming towards you, you need to come out from the top like this, because you will be using kick, so even if you collide with the roller, nothing will happen to you. As you know, you cannot go through this path but let me tell you how to go from here. You need to dive at the corner of this ring, not above the ring. Then you have to proceed in this way. If you practice this, you could do it in two seconds and avoid taking the longer path on the other side. Cross the spike block, then go behind it and collide with it. Make sure to jump at the corner of the spike block and collide with it. This will propel your character far up in the air, allowing you to bypass the next phase. You can also go this way. Let me explain the exact way to do it. First, come over here, then dive plus kick on this trampoline and keep your joystick in this position. Your character will automatically come to this point. Then you just have to land on the corner of any of these trampolines that's it, the trick is done. People think that this is the hardest and fastest trick of stumble guys. Yes I agree with that. But right now I am going to tell you how to do this trick easily. So that, even an average player will be able to do it. If we talk about doing this trick exactly like this. Then no one can do this in all the matches in icy height map. No matter how pro he is. That's why I have found some other easy way. Which you can use this trick in every match to qualify faster. To do this. Jump here. Then dive over it. After that you have to jump on the corner of this yellow trampoline, so that you jump higher. Then jump once more. After that you will do this trick. Just imagine that you can cross two checkpoints from here in 6 seconds.
Right now I am going to tell you a very cool trick in the space race map. For this you have to first come here. Then dive on this stone and then jump towards the ring. Although you can do it this way too. But there is more risk in doing it this way. Because if you look carefully here. On this side you get so little space to dive on this stone. But on the other side you get more space. Which reduces the risk of falling and with this trick you can go ahead more quickly. Some people will know that if you dive here, you get a boost. But did you know that you can get another boost here in the same way? You can cross the mud with only two boots. A very interesting trick works in the spin go round. If you fall down because of hitting the hammer. Now you will go ahead with the help of the hammer. For this, first you have to stand on this place. And as soon as the hammer is about to hit you. You have to jump. Then you will fly like this and then you go over it. After coming here, you can easily go ahead and qualify. You can do this with all four of these hammers. This trick is not of much use, but you are going to have a lot of fun while doing this trick. You can also take a boost from this small stone, for this you have to dive on this stone, as soon as you do this, you will get a speed boost. If there is such a phase in the block dash map, you can go through it in one jump, just like I did. To do this. First you have to wait when these four blocks are removed. Then you have to jump on the spikes on this side. After that you will do it. If it comes on the other side, you can use the same trick. If you don't have any special emotes, then always try to lag behind the players ahead in pivot push map. Like I'm going on. With this, most of the players ahead of you will have special emotes, and if you are behind, you will be saved from them. After coming to this place, everyone has to wait for a while, from here you can qualify by going ahead of them. With the help of this trick, you will stay away from players who have special emotes. Well, I had already told you this trick. But many players find this trick very difficult. So now I am going to tell you the easiest way to do this trick. 
You can do this very easily without diving. To do this. You have to first see that the block is going left or right if the block is going left side. Then only you have to jump. And you will do this trick very easily. You can do the same thing on the other side. As you can see now these players are ahead of me. But while going a little further. This pink box came from right side to left side. So that those people are waiting for this box to go from left to right side again. But at the same time. Time without waiting I went ahead of them with the help of this trick. You can use this trick in these situations. You can also climb up by colliding with it. Like this. People think that this trick can be done only with kick emote. Do you think the same? So let me show you this trick without using kick emote. To do this, you have to jump from the corner to the stone ahead. Then you have to make your balance and jump forward. Then as I am going forward you have to go the same way. Keep two things in mind while doing this trick. First, jump from the corner. Second, when the box rotates from left to right. Then jump on it. This will reduce your chances of falling, and you will do tricks easily. If you do not like this spike phase, and you do not want to go from there, then there is a very good trick for you. So that you will not have to go through the spiked place. For this first come here. And then jump like this. And climb it. As I am doing. Then go ahead as I am going. If you don't have special emotes in Lava Land map but your opponent has special emotes. Then it's very difficult to survive there. If you want to win at that time. You have to keep distance from them. For that, you can stay under two blocks, it will mean that whoever has special emotes will be fighting each other. And if you stay below two blocks you will stay away from them. And your chances of winning will be higher than before. I am doing the same thing as you see now. If you dive like this on this planet, then you will get a booze. You can also take a boost by doing this on this planet.
You can also go this way in Paint Splash Map. You can do this on the other side as well. Then tile fall map. Stay a little distance from the crowd until the second last tile opens. This will keep you away from being bodies and those who have special emotes. So let me show you the easiest way to go to the base side of the opposite team. If you're going like this, no one can stop you. After coming here you can capture their flags. Jump to the last to avoid getting bodies and players with special emotes. With this you can also avoid getting jump glitches. I don't know why players don't go from left side in pivot push map. If you want to distance from players who have special emotes, then left side is great for you. If you are a new player, then it is a very good suggestion for you. As you all know that we cannot jump over 3 blocks in the lava land map. But right now I am going to tell you a trick by which you can jump even on 3 blocks. If I had known this trick earlier. I could have won a lot of matches because most of the matches were eliminated only when I came across a pillar whose height was 3 blocks. To do this trick. First you have to do a jump and then after jumping. If your character reaches their maximum height. Then you have to click on jump for the second time and move your joystick forward. Keep in mind that this trick will work only when your character reaches their maximum height when they jump. If you learn this trick once, then you will win most matches in Lava Land map. Let me tell you how to do this trick. First of all, you have to go to the custom game. Then you have to set a 3 round match. In the first round you set any map according to your choice. In the second round you have to select the Hot Wheels map. And in the third round you have to select the Laser Tracer map. You can do this trick in just 2 steps. The first step is to qualify last. The second step is to qualify by jumping your car near the finish line by putting your car in the corner until your third round comes. This trick start working from second round. And we selected second round Hot Wheels map, and as I told you in first step you have to qualify last, and when you are driving car you can't stop and can't even see by rotating the camera angle. That's why I will stop here and let 7 players ahead of me go. And I will go at the end so that I can qualify in the end. Right now I have come to the last phase of this match. And here works our second step in which you have to qualify at the end by jumping your car in the corner. Like this. Now I have done both the steps well, now let's see whether this trick works or not. Now I will neither fasten nor cut the video, because if I do, some of you may feel that this trick is fake. Would you have ever thought that I wish I would stand in one place and lasers pass through me and nothing happens to me while my friends try so hard to survive and I stay in one place and win the game? 
but now with this trick you can really do it. You can also punch, kick, hug and throw banana emotes. Throw your banana emote like this. And when it lands near the white circle. You have to stand behind it. So you won't be hit by these bots. All you have to do is dodge this rotating optical from here, and you can win the whole game like this. This is a place in the icy height map. Where if you throw a banana emote. There is a 90% chance that players will hit it. Go ahead and do the kick emote by diving. This allows you to go ahead very fast. Now you can see here these people are walking with me, but as soon as I used kick emote they all went behind me and one guy even fell down while jumping. If you throw a banana emote at this place in the lost temple map. 99% of the banana emote goes under the ground. So it is not visible to other people. So when someone comes from there. There are more chances that it will hit and fall. Let me tell you how to get boost every time in space race map. For this first you have to double jump on this moving platform. And then you have to rotate your camera and land on the corner of this moving platform. Then you will do this trick. There are some glitches in stumble guys, out of which this glitch has happened to me many times. In which some obstacles of the map disappear. This glitch mostly happens with me in pivot push map. The bad thing about this glitch is that after coming here you cannot go above it. If you want to go over it. You will have to do some jumps by jumping over the heads of the players. As it is doing. Let me do it now. In super slide map. If any person is going with you and you think that he can beat you. Then you have to come to this side in this phase, so that your competitor moves to your other side, and when your competitor comes close to you. You have to move your joystick in this angle. So that it will fall. Throw the banana emote like thai. Then go ahead and jump when you feel like you're about to hit the banana emote. This will allow you to skip this phase. You can do it right here too. What do you feel after watching this clip? I know many of you must be feeling that I am very lucky. Not because I completed the whole round without falling. Because I avoided falling twice here. But do you know this is also a trick. If you want, you can do it like this every time. Let me explain to you. To do this trick. First of all, you have to move forward and when you come on the line between two tiles. You have to jump. This will happen, if the front tile is wrong, then your character will jump upwards, and you will jump to the next one. 
You will fall on the tile now it depends if the next tile is correct, then you will survive, and if wrong then you will fall. Let me show you some examples. Here I am going ahead doing this same trick, because I don't know whether the tiles in front are right or wrong. Well all the tiles in the back came out right, but now this tile is wrong, because I did the same trick so I jumped up. Now it depends whether the next tile is right or wrong. If this tile is right, then I will survive, but if it is wrong then I will fall. Well this tile was not correct that's why I fell. But imagine where other players can check one tile in one jump, you can check two tiles in one jump, if one of the two is correct, then you will be saved. Means you will play it on two times more advantage. You can do this exactly on the right or left side. For this you have to look at the side you want to do or else you have to do the same trick by turning your joystick to that side. In the new update, a new emote was added. Which is the banana emote. To throw this emote, I tell you some places where if you throw the banana emote. There are high chances that other players will collide with it. You can also eliminate other players by pushing them like this. If you throw the banana emote at a place that has something in front of it, it will collide and go back. As you can see. Many times in floor flip map, you get stuck like this and stay the whole game until the time runs out and you are eliminated. There is also a trick to get out of here. For this, first of all, you have to jump on the head of any player like this and then jump on the next floor. Let me show you a fun trick on the cannon climb map. To do this, you have to come here and use the kick emote like this. After that you will go inside it. You can do this on the other side as well. Throw the banana emote. Then hit it and keep your joystick straight. This will get you out of the block. You can do this trick even if someone punches or kicks you. I had told you a trick long ago. By which you will skip this floor and go directly to the next floor. Its advantage was that if someone tries to make you fall from the floor, then you do not fall. But it took a lot of time to do it. That's why I am going to tell you a trick that will reduce your time. You can skip the next floor and go faster. To do this, you have to jump here first. Then dive in this corner. This will make you go very fast. It is faster than your normal way. You can do this on the other side as well.
Here another fun trick works. To do this, first you have to go to a two tile place and go close to it and use the kick emote. So that you can make two tiles disappear at a time. Although it is not of much use to you, but you can use it for fun. This is a common trick in which first you have to jump here. Then land there. But think what if your jump glitches while doing this. It happened to me many times and I lost many games because of it. Let me tell you a way to avoid it. If it happens to you. Then you have to use the kick emote in such a way that you will come out from inside the slide and go up. Go to the ball. Something like this. And then dive fast. This will make the ball move very fast. To do this trick, keep these two things in mind. The first is to push the ball closer. Second, you have to dive by quickly clicking on the jump button twice. <laughs> 